Hi everyone and welcome to another Autodesk screencast video. My name is Zan Ta with Reaper Products. Our screencast today will look into Revit 2017 and the column reinforcement extension feature. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. There is an extensions tab and the tools for Autodesk Revit extensions sits in here. You actually have to download and install that separately you can do that through the Autodesk desktop app. Within the commands, if I click reinforcement, you'll see there are a lot of types of objects that I can work with to use this extension to put rebar. The way these commands function is that you actually have to select the objects first and then initiate the command. So for example, if I select this column, I could then go to extensions, reinforcement, and choose columns. It'll open up the dialog box called Re Reinforcement of Columns, and you have different categories, sections to work with, geometry, bars, stirrups, dowels, and reinforcement areas. So your objective at this point is to input the data that you need that describes how all the rebar is going to be created. If you look at the geometry, you'll see a lot of information is already populated because it's pulling the BIM data of the column out for you. In the bars section, you can specify what number of bar to work with. You can specify the hook type. You can specify the number of bars in both directions. And you can also bundle the bars in the corner if you need to as well. You can click stirrups and in here again specify the bar size type, specify the stirrup type, specify the hook type for both hooks, and then also specify the distance, C distance if you will, that's the distance between the reinforcement bar and the outside edge of your column. And also you can specify a distance here, which is the overlap of the rebars. You can also specify the distribution, either equally distributed or to the bottom or the top of that column. And then whatever that distance is for the distribution. If you need to include dowels, you can include dowels and you can specify the type of dowel you want to include um, and whether it protrudes out past the column or not. You can also set up stirrups for the dowel as well and specify the parameters and then reinforcement areas as well. When you're all said and done picking and setting up each of the uh, sub features, if you will, you'll click OK. The software will go through and select that particular object and then automatically build the um, rebar, if you will, to have it placed properly. Now, if you look at the one that's down here, you'll notice that mine is in 3D and it's solid and the view the view is unobscured whereas this one by default it's not so all you have to do really is just select it type in SA to select all instances visible in the project go over to the instance property and choose view visibility states click edit and in this uh, window rebar element view visibility states you can put a check mark or view as solid in the 3D views. After you click OK, you should be able to see them properly. We also set it to uh, not be obscured, so that way, even though you're in a visual style that is shaded, um, you can actually see through and see all the rebar.